Today is, of course, St Andrew's Day, and with me to discuss this special day for Scotland is broadcaster Scotty McClue. How are you today, Scotty, and how is Scotland? Oh, very well, Stacey. A very, very snowy Scotland this morning, of course. I've just arrived for work about three hours late. Terrific deep snow, about two feet of it in some occasions, and of course it's uh, holding up the whole of central Scotland. But uh, it's uh, a more important day because it's the feast day of St Andrew, the 30th of November, the patron saint of Scotland, and uh, this is Scotland's official national day when we fly our national flag, the saltire, with the blue background and the white cross. Now, um, I don't know if you know about the background or your listeners know about the background to the flag, but uh, it was actually a legend about a battle in Athol Stainford in East Lothian in the east of Scotland, or Ail Stainford, and the night before the battle, King Ingus vowed that uh, if he was granted victory, he would appoint St Andrew as the patron saint of Scotland, and the legend states that he actually engaged in prayer on the eve of the battle, and in the morning they looked up and there was the blue sky with a white diagonal cross. And uh, that was the start of the Saltire flag. And, of course, St Andrew's diagonal cross was because St Andrew wanted to be crucified on that cross rather than be crucified on the same cross as Jesus Christ, his Lord and Master. So it's essentially a Christian festival, St Andrew's Day. And St Andrew became the patron saint of Scotland around the middle of the 10th century, about 950 AD. But he's also the patron saint of many other parts of the world as well. St Andrew is well known in the Ukraine, in Russia and Romania, Athens in Greece, Amalfi, Italy, and also in Portugal. So he's managed to get himself about, and the St Andrew's flags can be seen in the flag, the blue in the flag of Australia, New Zealand, and Nova Scotia. So the Saltire Cross, and of course, Scotland has got a national party in government at the moment. We have our own assembly in Scotland, and our government is the Scottish National Party. They are in power at the moment. Of course, they are very keen that the Saltire flag finds its feet. But uh, from going, essentially from going from a Christian festival, St Andrew's Day is a day of great celebration. Lots of dancing, lots of singing, lots of evenings out, lots of eating, of course, things that the Scots do terribly well. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there are many, many Scots, Stacey, or Scots descendants in the Falkland Islands and the South Atlantic. Yeah, no, there's uh, quite a few Scots uh, down here, and um, I'm, I'm sure you'd encourage them to, to celebrate today as well. Yes, absolutely. The uh, celebration of music is very much with the fiddle and the bagpipe, but the fiddle, the violin, is the original. In-